everyone, Walker here, and we have a very special episode today. It's episode number 10, which I'm still finding quite amazing that I lasted long enough for 10 episodes. So we're just going to keep trying. We're going to keep going until I run out of steam. We have a fully charged wand, and we have researched node in a jar. Okay. What we can do with node in a jar is we can actually trap a node and transport it. Uh, but the initial trapping spell does have a very good chance of blah 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 blah. Nor can this be drawn for that. Okay, so we need a bunch of glass and a whole mess load of slabs and at least 70 V in each uh, in our wand. Okay, that's why I fully charged it now. Right now, I have an 84% V discount. That means I'm going to use 60, uh, around 60 of each instead of the full 70, but that's okay. Now, let me see. I need 9, 8, and 9. 18. Oh, I got plenty. What I do need, though, is slabs. I need at least 9 slabs. Sure. Yeah, I haven't been coal hunting very much because I only use that thing now for, uh, that's plenty. We're not gonna. I've only been using that thing to cook up Salus Mundus. Everything else goes through here. Speaking of which, I don't have any food. Probably be a good idea to get some food first. Hey guys, how you guys doing? <laughs> oh, look at you. You guys are so good. So good. Okay, so I'm gonna make some food. And there. So pretty much I need to find a decent node. And I seem to remember seeing a couple around this area. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna meet you over there and we'll be right back, okay? So I'll meet you there. Okay, so as you can see, we're in that area now, and we're going to try and find a decent node. Now, the trick is, what are we going to use the node for, okay? Do we want to use the node to refill our wand, or do we want to tap into that node for other purposes, like supplying Ignis to our infernal furnace, right? Or, or do we want to stabilize the node and hook it up to our crafting table using a special uh, system that I haven't researched yet? What is that? I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I do know what that is, and I just don't remember. That's got to be somewhat new. But I do know what that is, and I do know what that is. And there's another one over here, that I, because I haven't researched this yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually looking for a node that has several aspects, several primal aspects in it. Because what I'm going to do is combine them. Let's see, I seem to remember there being one around here somewhere. And that looks like a sinister node. Let's see. Oh. Ah, uh, well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a decent sized node. Did I put the, oops, put those back on. A side effect I've noticed from these, like, do you see that node way over there? Oops, yeah, there, do you see it blowing through the stone? If I take, oh, no, it didn't do it. Well, it did it when I was underground, so. I see cobweb, I'm, I'm good, well. Nah, I'm, I'm good. I don't feel like playing K 
catch with this uh, poisonous spider today. Jump! Okay, let's take a look at this one. See, like, this would be okay, except it has that machina on it, and I I don't have the equipment to break down machina just quite yet. Oh, I've already scanned this one. I have been over here. I do remember there being decent nodes over here. I just don't remember where they are. How about you? Well, water and air. Water seems to be one of those that I need a lot of. Let me take a look at my map here. I mean, this episode is probably going to be a lot of me running around looking for a node, and if we do find a decent one, I'll capture it, bring it back to the base, and maybe we'll do something else. I haven't quite decided what yet. I mean, this was all about node capturing. That's just the one that I already found. Let's go this way. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Okay, let's go this way. <laughs> Maybe I'll get uh, some piggies and start a meat factory. Oh, I know what I can do. I unlocked another thing over in, uh, up, up, in uh, Thomic Horizons that we can look at. It seems to be Thomic Horizons is slowly becoming not my next favorite add-on, but it's definitely getting close to being one of my favorite add-ons. Okay, this guy here we don't want. He is a sinister node. Uh, later on, when we have the thing that turns them into... Oh, okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This one I'm probably going to capture. So I got three in there. Did I already... Yeah, I found him before. I had my eye, it wasn't this one I was looking for, but we'll do this one for demonstration purposes. We got three primals in there, and even though they're not super big, they'll be useful for what I want. So let's put the glass down. What we got to do is surround it on all sides with glass, like so. Oops. Fine, there. Like we're ma we're making a really big jar. A very very big jar, right? See. And now we're gonna peg it on the side, okay? And check it out. Oh, it didn't do its little shrinky dink thing. I wonder if that's because I've noticed um, with Pharmac Horizons lens installed, that's what was causing like that. See, I know I've researched those, but if I take the lens off, see how it's all back again? So I'm going to send him a, uh, a, a bug note, and hopefully it's not something he already knows. So you just break it. Don't break it with your wand, or else it's just going to put it right back in the world again. Now I'm carrying around a node in a jar. That's pretty darn cool. And I can carry that with me. And I'm not quite done yet, because I want to see if I can't find another one. Um, so notice it took about 60, a little, little tiny bit over 60. So what I can do... Um, I have enough glass, and I can always punch more trees for wood. If I can find another one that has the opposite, or alternatively, what is what's in there? Air ignis preditio. So what if I find one that has aqua ordo and the other one? Aqua or and Terra in it. That will be a little more difficult just because Terra and Aqua don't get along with one another. But you never know. I've seen it before. Arr! I want to go up the hill because up the hill I can see stuff better. 
And it's starting to get dark out, which is fine, except that I'm going to have skeletons all over these hills. Alright, well, a little disappointed that I didn't find anything else. What's this? Are you, you look like you're just Terra? Yeah, you're just Terra. How about you? What were you? Terra and Aqua. <laughs> All right, wait, thank you for proving me wrong. Terra and Aqua don't get together, I say, and there you are. Stupid things. Let's see creeper feet. I see creeper. God, I wish I could remember. I should mark these down, but I feel like that's cheating. Oh my god. Wait, where did you come from? He should not show up unless there's a... Um, sinister node around. Oh no, wait, he's just an angry zombie. He's not a furious zombie. They're still dangerous. Not quite as dangerous for me as witches are, though. Alright. I, I, I'm going around in circles. There was, I know there was. I saw it earlier. There was a set of two nodes, like, stuck almost right next to one another. Ow. I should have just ran by him instead of... Uh-oh. Well, now I got, uh, food issues. Okay, I've spent enough time looking at this. Take one quick peek at our map again. Should've been right here. That makes me furious. A furious zombie. See, I'd come over looking for them, and I'd picked out three or four that I figured I'd be able to find easily enough. And sure enough, can't find them to save my life. So. I will meet you guys back at the hideout if I do- Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that- yes it is. It's not what I was looking for, but uh, we'll take it. See that way over there? I have been looking for one of these for like five episodes now. We are heading over there. Is our way down? Easy, easy way down. Before the skeleton comes. Yeah! Ah, I know it's just a video game, but that always makes my stomach churn. We are going up there. We are going up there right now. Ah, oh, happy episode ten. Hmm. If I find some ignis, I'll. St nag that one up. Because I haven't seen very many Ordo nodes around. I've seen plenty of, uh... Oh, oh, you're so beautiful. This, I've been looking for. This is a couple episodes I mentioned I was looking for a, uh, one of the older Thomcraft altar thingies. This is what I meant. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now then, I gotta be semi-careful. Because under here, somewhere, you can see the smoke, there is a wisp spawner. Oh, wow. Not a lot. That's kind of disappointing. Not as exciting anymore. I hate discs. You know the good thing discs are for? That's it. Actually, there used to be 
a uh, sound essentia. I think he's right under that block. I'm not going to break it open right now because soon I'm going to have, not soon, but in a little bit, I'm going to have a, a um, focus for my wand that'll let me change it out for another block and I can bring the spawner with me. Okay, now we're going to go home. Okay guys, we are home and I found another node and that's actually kind of uh, a good complement to this one. So let's just take a quick look and see. This one is Air Ignis and Perditio, so it's three. And then this one is Aqua, Ordo, and Terra, and Ignis. So that's all of it. One, two, three, one, two, three. Um, 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 um. So, what I want to do, the reason I brought these home, and the reason I got these two particular ones, what I want to do with these, I don't want to put them in here, because this is eventually going to get changed. But, kind of don't want to put them out here either. I guess what I'm going to do, let's see, if I put it there, yeah, I'm going to put one there, one there, I'm going to move these jars. Of course, I have no room to move anything, so I usually line my jars along near my infusion table anyway. Eventually, I'm going to dig out a hole underneath the infusion table and uh, I'll actually have a golem be able to pull all the essentia out of the Olympics for me but for right now we're doing it the long boring and not automated way there we go okay so normally you'd want to keep nodes at least four blocks away. So if I put him here, I'd want to go one, two, three, four, put him there, okay? Because what happens if you put them any closer than that is they'll start to absorb one another, and the bigger one will always win. So it's actually a toss-up between the two. This one, 24, 29, 29, 25. Ooh, that's a very close. 18. This one is just slightly bigger. So what we're going to see, you saw that little lightning flare there. Over time, one is going to absorb the other. Looks like it's going to be you into you. So it looks like that Ignis is getting absorbed. And hopefully, they'll combine. Oh yeah, look at that. See, now it's got water in them. Hopefully, he'll get Ordo and Terra, and then I'll have one node with all six uh, primals in it. And then what I can do is I can set up a system where I can just leave my wand, and it'll charge. and it won't ever uh, run out of V to charge from. So that will be useful. Now then, oops, I definitely don't want to put that in there. No, put that in there. Common treasure. Oh, why did I put that in there for? Okay, so what do I want to do next? Yeah, what, another 10 or 15 minutes? Like Esoterica. You know, I haven't actually seen anything really super cool in Esoterica yet. This sounds like it would be cool, but it's also. A, that right there is a pain to get. That I can just make like a thousand crafting tables and get Febrico, but Instrumentum, a hose, pickaxes, stuff like that. It's a pain. See what the ascension necessary places. So I also need to have specific essentia for the blocks that I'm going to replicate. 
I'm wondering if you can replicate ore with that, and if you can, what the cost be, and if it would be cheaper than doing the ore doubling from alchemy. Because if it is, if it like costs way less than one metallum and one ordo, like if it's only like one ordo, uh, I might make that for that, but I have to make it first. We're not doing that today. Mm-hmm. I should open up some more golems. I really wish I could get a fishing golem. Artifacts. I'm gonna unlock. Okay, I'm gonna unlock that, and I'm gonna unlock all of these for next episode. And we're gonna try building an arcane war. Uh, because... That'll make life easier. Oh wait, didn't I say... No, we're not gonna do that. What am I thinking? We're gonna make that. The Osmotic Enchanter next episode. That will be next episode, I promise. I'll have everything ready to go. Um, I'll even freaking work on the stability issues of the table and have, you'll see, it does a, that we'll have that in between episodes so that we don't have to worry about wasting time with that. Right now, I want to come over here and look. And I'm not going to make this just quite yet because I want to have a nice spot for it, but this thing looks so cool. The curative vat. With your newfound understanding of tissue replication, it should be possible to adapt these techniques to rapidly heal a creature's wounds. This procedure is rather delicate and cannot be performed with a crucible. Instead, you have designed a specialized vat which diagnoses the patient and pipes in the appropriate essentia to treat them. Piping in Victus wholly uh, restores less health. Famus refills your hunger bar, which is nice because now we have a reason to have Famus Essentia. I never had a reason for Famus Essentia. Sano quickly restores health and nullifies most status effects. So, expecting your vats can be further improved, you would design the hatch to double as an expansion port. So, I think. Well, what, what is it going to cost me? Alchemical construct, I can make quite easily. Glass and great wood, so I need two alchemical constructs. This is what's going to cost the most right here. Hmm. How much glass do I have left? 12? 18? No, 16? Ha! Look at that. I need an alchemical construct, though. Do I have any great wood left? No? Tell you what, I'm gonna go get the mats for this, and we're we're gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I, I've decided we're making it this episode. Okay, I'll be right. Back. Okay, and we're back. I've collected all the mats. I've actually built it. You might be wondering, well, where did you build it? It's not in your Thomcraft laboratory. Uh, that's because I put it over here, and I'm going to expand that. And make this my Thomic Horizons lab. Now I haven't fully built it yet. I still got to hit it with my wand, okay? But I just wanted you guys to see it before I do that, because we're gonna see this together. This is the first time I've ever seen this, okay? So if it's your first time seeing it, it's my first time seeing it too. Uh, alchemical constructs in the center. Great wood planks around and around, and then two layers of glass with water in the center. That's all that makes up this. And it looks fairly compact. Hey, buddy, you want to go into the vat? Well, I'm not done making it yet, so you're just going to have to die. Okay. Well, let's do this, shall we? And boom. Whoa. Dude. That looks pretty badass. Excuse the language, but that is pretty freaking sweet. Dude. Okay. Dude. Is this the is this the access hatch? Well, we're gonna test it, because you know uh I'm not gonna end the episode having built this really sweet looking thing and then not test it. Ha! Oh wow. He needs to fix that. That deserves way more than one Sano and one uh, technically
likely to, I guess, but it deserves way more than just that. All right, well, we're gonna test it, and it said that it uses Famous to restore health. Um, and I think we're gonna see right now. Yep, okay, so that's where you plug in the Essentia. So I'm probably gonna wanna put this up on a pedestal and something. So how do you get in? Oh, what's this? That's not what I want. I wanna get in. How do I get in? Maybe here? Oh, oh neat. That... How do I get out? I wanna get out now. Okay. So you jump in. Okay, that's better. That's much better. Okay, that's really, that's really cool. I wonder what I look like from the outside. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna have to install a camera mod or something and see what I look like on the outside because that's just freaking cool. Well. Oh, that's not cool. Um. Apparently, you can break it from the inside. Okay, well, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I need to get my rose bushes. Well, lessons learned. Okay, well, while I clean up this mess, guys, we're going to end the episode there. Uh, leave me a like down below if you enjoyed this video, or a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video, but at the very least, leave me a comment, let me know why, and so I can fix it, and we can make it better for the next time around. And uh, I need some glass. I have one piece of glass, so I need some sand. And if you really enjoyed the video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can join my Twitter account and find out when I plan on updating. That's weird. Er, updating. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I'll i tweet out when I update a video, <clears throat> and I think I'm going to start on a new schedule of uh, probably Monday and Wednesday will be Minecraft videos, and Tuesday, Thursday will be Dwarf Fortress videos. So, until the next one, we will check you guys later.